Dear friends of Europa Nostra, culture has helped all of us through these difficult times. As many of us have spent several weeks at home due to the coronavirus, it cannot have escaped us how fundamental culture is to us. Whether watching a film, listening to music, enjoying an online museum tour, or simply reading a book, culture matters so much to our everyday lives. But now it is time for us to help the cultural and creative sector as well as our cultural heritage sites. If we do not support our artists, creators and professionals, it may have devastating consequences for our cultural diversity. Then we might simply not have access to the range of cultural content and expressions we do now. As chair of cult committee, I'm deeply concerned about the Commission's proposed recovery plan as well as the proposed MFF. Generally, there is much to praise in the Commission's recovery plan, but when looking at the details and what it means especially for our cultural heritage sites or our cultural and creative sector, the picture is a different, disappointing one. What the Commission describes as an increase for Creative Europe is only more money compared to the unacceptable baseline of the February proposal by Council President Charles Michel. All figures are far below the Commission's original proposal for the budget. But the Parliament will not remain silent. As Cult Chair, it's my job to make sure that culture and education get their deserved place in the reconstruction plans. Cultural heritage sites are like the cultural and creative sector one of the sectors most affected by the corona crisis. Cinemas, big concert halls and small venues, theatres, museums had closed their doors. Many festivals, conferences, book fairs and film and television productions have been cancelled or at least postponed until further notice. These events had to be closed down as the first ones and they will be probably be the last ones to come back to normal. Art and creativity is what makes us human. It is system relevant for our society. We need to protect and support our cultural and creative sector, cultural heritage sites and the people making up these industries. But it is not just the art that makes the cultural and creative sector this important to our society. We often forget that this is a strong economic force as well. It is actually stronger than the automobile sector and workforce. In 2018, 12 million people worked in the cultural and creative sector and it made up to 5.3% of the GDP. So supporting the sectors is not only in our individual interest, but should be an economical priority for the member states. We need to tailor support to those people and help them access that support. The Committee on Culture and Education will continue to push for the right measures to be delivered quickly. In the upcoming weeks, as we enter a new phase of the response to COVID-19, we need to ensure that CCS will be the properly represented in the recovery plans. Spending money on culture and cultural education means investing in the future of the continent. Let's use this opportunity to redefine our priorities. In short, we need to create the conditions for our vibrant cultural and creative sector as well as our cultural heritage sites to recover and to thrive.